I'm going to talk about how anatomy and physiology are related. So first I am going to define anatomy and physiology based on the Holes Anatomy textbook, 15th edition. So anatomy comes from the Greek, which means cutting up, and it analyzes the structures of the body parts, their forms and organizations. An anatomist, he will look at the muscles, for example here, the muscles of the face, how they are structured around the eyes, around the mouth, um, around the neck, etc. Um, that's all what he will look at. On the other hand, the physiologist, well, physiology means, comes from the Greek too, which means relationship to nature, and it means functions of, it will, it will look at the functions, it's based on the functions of the body. Um, here, in this image, he will look at the heart, and he will look only the physiologist will only look at the functions of the heart, which is pumping blood to keep the the body alive. <clears throat> That's all he would look at. So, why is it that they are studied together, anatomy and physiology? The form of the of the the form and the structure. Of a body part will reflect what the function will be. So, for example, here the mouth. Here we can see the anatomy of the mouth. We can see the teeth. They are arranged. To the mouth is adapted to receive food. And it is the teeth helps break down the structure of the food. And the tongue will help will help swallow that food. Well, the teeth um, they are made. It can it can be for softer foods like smashed potato or uh, more difficult things to break down like meat. They are made. They are adapted and made to do that. That's their function. Now, the other example would be the human hand. The human hand is made out, out of a lot of uh, muscles, a lot of nerves, and bones. So the fingers are made to, to catch something or to grab something. So the, the hand is made to, for example, catch big objects like a baseball or to pick up something smaller which you can use like two fingers for example an eraser like on this image that it's here and they they are studied together because i i believe that they are they depend on one another the anatomy the structure of something will will um will help understand the functions of a certain body part.